Hello and welcome to the 17th video lecture of quantitative techniques. In today's video lecture, we are going to cover Spearman's rank correlation with ties. So the question goes like this. Calculate the coefficient of rank correlation for the following data. So two series of values have been given x and y and you are supposed to find the rank correlation between them. So rank correlations means Spearman's rank correlation or Spearman's coefficient of correlation. So let us begin. Our first step is always to give ranks. But before that we will draw the table. The table is like this. I have already drawn it. Here we note down the values of x, y as given in the problem. And we have to assign ranks R1 and R2. R1 corresponds to rank of x and R2 corresponds to rank of y. So once you have drawn this table, the next step is to assign ranks to this. So definitely in this, if we are assigning ranks from to the x variable and the first rank will go to this person because 48, the value is 48. Suppose these are students, 8 students and these are the marks, then first rank will go to this person corresponding to 48. Second rank will go to second highest value that is 44. This. Similarly, the third rank will go to the third highest value that is this 37. The fourth rank will go to the fourth highest value. But there is a problem. We have a tie. 35 and 35. So one of this would have got if there was no tie one of this would have got fourth rank and the other would have gone fifth rank. So four and five let it be will give the ranks later on. The next rank is sixth. Okay four and five are tied. Sixth is the next rank. So after this 35 which is the next highest. So sixth rank will be for this. 7th rank will be for this corresponding to 26 that is 7th rank and lastly 8th rank final rank is for this. So I have given all the ranks except 4th and 5th rank 1, 2, 3 I have given 4th and 5th I have not given because there was tie. So what I have to do I have to find out average rank. So I can write here average rank rank is equals to it is tied at fourth and fifth position. Okay, I have given one, two, one, two, three ranks, four and five I have not given, six, seven, eight I have given. So four and five I have not given. So I am writing it down here. Four plus five divided by 2 because 2 numbers are there. I am finding the average of this. So how many numbers are there in the whenever you are finding average how many numbers are there in the numerator you have to divide by that many numbers. If there are 3 numbers in the numerator you have to divide by 3. If there are 2 numbers in the numerator you have to divide by 2. So it is equal to 4.5. You can check in the calculators. So the average rank that we are awarding them is not 4 or 5. We are award, awarding them 4.5 4.5 and I'll just note down this with a pencil because tie exists here I should know that a tie exists so I'm just putting a dot for my understanding purpose that there is a tie okay 
Now let us give ranks to the variable y. In this, if these are 8 students and these are the marks obtained by these 8 students, the first rank will go to this person who has scored 83. The second highest marks is 51. So the second rank will be there. The third rank goes to the third highest value. Third highest value is 47. The fourth highest value is 46. The fifth highest value is 34. But again we have a problem. We have a tie at 3 places. 3 people are tied here. At 5, 6 and 7. Okay. So had, I, had there not been any ties, I would have given them 5, 6 and 7. So let it be. We will drop these 5, 6, 7 ties. Next rank is 8th. So we will award 8th to the next highest. That is this person. Now what about the ties? Again we find average rank. Okay. Average rank in this case is equal to. The ties are for, I have given 1, 2, 3, 4, I have not given 5, 6 and 7 rank, then 8 I have given. So which all ranks I have not given? 5, 6, 7 divided by, how many numbers are there in the numerator? Now there are 3 numbers, so I am dividing by 3, I am finding the average rank which is equals to 6. If you want, you can find out 5 plus 6 is 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. 18 divided by 3 is 6. So the average rank I am awarding them is 6, 6, 6. And here are my ties. Okay. So now, how many places I have ties? I have ties at two different locations. The first tie is here. And the second tie is here in this location. Okay. First tie is in this location and the second tie is here. So I will get two values of CF that is CF1 and CF2. CF1 will correspond to this value and CF2 will correspond to this value. I will note down the rank correlation formula. But before noting down the rank correlation formula, as we have already got now ranks R1 and R2, we will first find the difference in ranks. That is D equal to R1 minus R2. Use your calculators and find out what is the difference between R1 and R2. This is 8 minus 1. R1 is 8 minus R2 is 1. So 8 minus 1 is equal to 7. No need to show all these calculations. Directly you can write 7. Similarly here, 6 minus 2, 4.5 minus 6, 2 minus 6, minus 4, 4.5 minus 6, minus 1.5. 7 minus 8, minus 1, 3 minus 4, minus 1, 1 minus 3, minus 2. Lot of negative values. Uh, as I have told you earlier also, it is just the difference that we are interested in. And what happens here is, we are not interested in the sign. We are interested in the difference in values. So now, d square d square is d into d that is 7 into 7 it is nothing but 49 4 into 4 16 minus 1.5 into minus 1.5 minus into minus is plus 1.5 into 1.5 is 2.25 4 into 4 is 16 because minus into minus is plus. So minus into minus is again plus here. 1.5 into 1.5 is 2.25. 
then here minus into minus is plus 1 into 1 is 1 here minus 1 into minus 1 again plus 1 minus 2 into minus 2 is plus 4 so these are the values you are getting you can note down all these values are positive d square because whether you do plus into plus or minus into minus you will get positive value itself so all the values in the last column will always be positive next thing what we want is summation d square summation d square what is summation d square summation d square is sum of all values of d square so what is sum of all values of d square you have to add up 49 plus 14 plus 2.25 plus 16 plus 2.25 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 use your calculators and find out the answer to this is 91.5 okay so we have got the value of summation d square as 91.5 now the next thing is we'll note down the formula for rank correlation spearman's rank coefficient rank correlation coefficient coefficient what is the formula rho equal to 1 minus 6 summation d square plus cf divided by n cube minus n okay where n is equals to 8 why n is equal to 8 because we have 8 set of values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have 8 set of values so that is why we have n is equals to 8 okay now summation d square you know you know n the only thing is CF you have to find out. Now what is CF? Correction factor CF equal to CF1 plus CF2 CF1 plus CF2 Okay. What is this CF1 plus CF2? Why CF1 and CF2 are coming? Why? Because we have ties at two locations. The first location is here and the second location is here. If there was one more tie, we would have also got CF1 plus CF2 plus CF3. Okay. So, if we have only tie at one location, suppose only this location was there, there was no ties here, then CF is equal to CF1, only CF1. So, only one correction factor will come. Here, wherever, how many times you are finding out these average ranks? See here average rank average rank how many times you are finding this average ranks that many cfs will come so cf1 will correspond to this cf2 will correspond to this okay how many times you are finding average ranks fine okay let us move ahead to find out the values of cf1 and cf2 we know that the value of cf is equals to m cube minus m upon 12 okay the value of cf is m cube minus m upon 12 now what is this m cube this is not n huh? remember n is equals to 8 we know this n is equals to 8 because 8 set of values were given but what is this m cube i'll just note down because cf is this m cube minus m m cf1 will be m1 cube minus m1 divided by 12 m is how many places ties had happened okay how many places ties had happened in the first location i'll just show you see here ties had happened at how many places the first place is this second place is this that is m value is nothing but this the denominator of average rank that is 2 m is 2 2 places were tied so it is a denominator of average rank what you have taken 
so this is nothing but your m value fine that is m1 value and this will be the m2 value fine easy way to identify m1 and m2 now let us move towards a problem cf1 is equals to m1 cube minus m1 upon 12 so which is equals to m1 we have seen that it is equal to 2 so it is 2 cube minus 2 divided by 12 which is equals to 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 minus 2 divided by 12 which is equals to 6 divided by 12 which is equal to 0 0.5 okay now what is cf2 value so cf2 equal to m2 cube minus m2 divided by 12 which is equal to m2 cube the m2 value which i had shown was 3 because 3 places tied had happened denominator was 3 so it is 3 cube minus 3 divided by 12 which equals to 3 cube is 3 into 3 into 3 that is 27 minus 3 upon 12 24 upon 12 which is equal to 2 you can use your calculators and find out so this is how we find out the value of cf1 and cf2 cf1 is equals to 0 0.5 and cf2 is equals to 2 so now let us find out the value of CF. The value of CF is CF is equals to CF1 plus CF2. Now CF1 plus CF2. So let us write CF formula. CF is equals to CF1 plus CF2. Which is equals to 0 0.5 plus which is equals to 2.5 so your CF value is 2.5 CF1 plus CF2 that is 0 0.5 plus 2 so CF value is 2.5 now in my previous lecture I had told you that I will tell you a shortcut method of finding CF a very easy method of finding CF okay now the thing is you should see at the formula and you will get to know what will be the value of CF. What is the formula of CF? CF formula here is m cube minus m upon 12. So the only thing the value of CF is dependent upon is m that is how many places ties are existing. Ties can exist at various places. Suppose if two places, two students are tied at the same rank. If two students are tied at the same rank, CF value will always be equal to 0 0.5. If three students are tied at the same, then CF value will be equal to 2. And if four people are tied at the same place, then CF equal to 4 cube minus 4, that is 4 for the 16, 16 for 64, 64 minus 4 is 60, divided by 4 is I think it comes up to 5. So these are the shortcut values. So if you know m1 equal to 2, if m equal to 2, what is CF value? 0 0.5. Your m value was 2, so answer is 0 0.5. If m is equal to 3, in this case m was equal to 3, so 3 places ties had happened. Okay, so the value of cf was 2. If there were 4 places which were tied, then the value of cf would have been 5. Okay, this is how you have to find out. Normally this case won't be asked in your examination. This and this may be asked. So you can prepare for this and you can verify your answer. You have to show these calculations. But you, have to, you can verify the answers because you already know that if two people are tied. I will just show you how it is here. Okay. 
here two people were tied hmm? and the average rank that we are finding was divided by 2 so m value is 2 if you are dividing it by 2 your cf value corresponding cf value will be equal to 0 0.5 similarly here three people are tied so your denominator was equal to 3 here it is denominator is equal to 3 and the corresponding cf value will be equal to 2 that is what it says okay now let's come back to our problem cf equal to cf1 plus cf2 now uh, we know the value of cf also we know the value of n also we know the value of summation d square also so the next thing what we have to do is we have to substitute it in it in the formula so the Carl Pearson's sorry uh, the Spearman's rank coefficient of correlation uh, rho is equals to 1 minus 6 summation d square plus cf upon n cube minus n which is equals to 1 minus 6 multiplied by what is summation d square we had got summation d square value previously that is equal to 91.5 okay here it is 91.5 so d square is 91.5 plus what is cf value cf value is equal to 2.5 divided by n cube minus n what is n cube 8 set of values were given so it is 8 cube minus 8 don't forget this 1 which is equals to 1 minus 6 multiplied by this is in the bracket so first you have to solve this 91.5 plus 2.5 is equal to 94 Bracket means multiplication. So it is 6 into 94. This is 8 cube minus 8. 8 cube stands for 8 into 8 into 8. 8 into 8 into 8 is equal to 512. So minus 8. So which is equals to 1 minus. What is 6 into 94 equal to 6 into 94 is equal to 564 upon 504 564 upon 504 so what is rho equal to now 1 minus what is 564 divided by 504? It is equal to 1.119. So rho equal to minus 0 0.11. So this is your answer. Rho equal to minus 0 0.119. So what is your comment? Hmm? Always finish your answer that is solution with a comment here. Comment it is negative sign so it shows negative correlation and it is very close to 0 so it is very weak negative correlation. It shows very weak negative correlation that is it 10 marks for this solution sometimes it may be asked for 5 mark section also but if it is asked for 5 mark section then it will be asked without any ties if it is asked with ties generally it will come in 10 mark section 
with this we complete our today's video lecture i hope you have understood this if you have any difficulty you can always contact us and ask always uh, one more thing is you have to complete your uh, books and whatever uh, questions i am solving in the video classes you have to write it in a separate qt book and once you write it down i'll ask you maybe in the coming week to submit it okay once you submit it i'll check it and give it back to you so you have to uh, complete this books okay and practice this sums there are some other sums also which are available on the internet or on the textbooks or if you want me to scan and send you i'll scan and send you so that you can practice it okay these are the minimum number of sums which you have to solve in your book separate to qt book okay and those people who do not have accounting calculators have to purchase it because it is needed in this semester okay so till then will uh, this is uh, it for spearman's rank correlation and we have completed spearman's rank correlation also uh, in the next video lecture we shall take some small problems which can come in two mark section okay